Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in the previous videos, we have learned about how to handle the asynchronous call that is promise calls used in the Java in the JavaScript testing. We have checked it. So here we have how we will be using. So we need to use the done callback and also we have checked how to do the spy on the fetch method. Also we have checked it. So up to now we have did it like this. So now we need to know another one before closing this asynchronous promise calls. We need to know about the another concept that is nothing but async and await so we need to know about this async and await also so we know how to spy on these methods and all those things how to use this dot then done callback these are all the things we have understood we will learn about this async also first of all let's try to know about this async so what is this async javascript if you try to open here so async function a async function is a function declared with the async keyword so we any function declared with an async keyword is an async function and the await keyword is permitted within it so whenever you declare a function with an async so, so you can use the await keyword inside the function the async and await keywords enable asynchronous promise based behavior to be written in a cleaner style so this is the main thing you need to use you need to understand avoiding the need to explicitly configure promise chains so we are using the promise chains right something like dot then dot catch if you want to use means we already used this promise chains in our calculator.js so here we have used one promise chain dot then and again we have used this dot then so if you are having multiple promise chains like this so it will be looks the code looks like somewhat confusing for us so in order to have a cleaner code structure and all those things so we will be using this async and await async and await is introduced in ES 2017 it supports in all the modern browsers and also if you have a transpiler the async and await you can use it so now if you want to handle these async and await things means in jasmine how we can do it so it's simple very simple there is nothing to there is nothing is there in this one so now what we understand about the definition the async function so if you mention the function with an async keyword so that will become a async function so here this is the function right let's try to implement the async here okay whenever you implement you whenever you write this one as an async now you can use the await keyword inside this one so whichever returns the promise whichever method returns the promise inside this function you can use this await keyword here calculator dot version returns the promise for us so that is the reason we are using dot then block so we can use this await keyword here okay so if you use this await keyword there is no need to write this dot then so now it will wait the the browser will wait here up to up to the, the javascript will wait until you get the response so now let's store this one in a variable so the data what you will be getting here you will be getting in the variable and here you can check this one like this okay that's it so whenever you use this async function so here you will get the data so whenever you get the data you can check it like this so this is all we will be using so now let's remove this one also so that yeah so now let's try to check the output if i try to check the output here here i am trying to check the output here you will be able to see one one problem we are getting that is uh, that is they are trying to say that this message will be shown only once set the verbose description config property to to every occurrence so it is telling that so you are using the async and await keyword and also you are using the done callback either remove the done callback or remove the async keyword they saying so that means whenever you are using async function like this and whenever you are using the await keyword like this there is no need for you there is no need to mention this done callback okay so there is no need to mention this one done callback okay so this is the thing so whenever you are using async and await so there is no need to tell so here you will get the response it's so as if the async await will pretend as if it the code as a code is executed synchronously but here it will wait until we get the output that's it so when we will use this async and await keyword so in order to get the cleaner code style so we'll use this async and await instead of avoiding these all promise chains and all those things we'll use this async and await so this one was suppose async and await supports in all the modern browsers and also if you are using in the, if you are using transpilers also it's not a problem we can use it so this is how we'll be using this async await in the jasmine testing hope you understood about this async await also if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you